The goal of this video is to provide a brief overview of uterine artery embolization procedure, also referred to as uterine fibroid embolization, or simply UFE. Fibroids are the most common benign tumors found in females. They are composed of smooth muscle cells and fibrous connective tissue arising from the muscular layer of the uterus. Fibroids are highly variable in size and are classified based on their location. Fibroids are submucosal, intramural, and subserosal. Some fibroids can be pedunculated. Their size can increase dramatically during pregnancy and regress after menopause. Typically, they are found during the middle and later reproductive years. Fibroids affect approximately 25 to 50% of all women, yet many may not have any symptoms. However, for those who do experience symptoms, they can be quite severe and can disrupt their lives. Before the advent of UFE, the treatment was hormonal pills or surgery to remove the fibroids or the uterus itself. Hormone therapy is usually the first line of treatment and it may cause fibroid size reduction. The side effects of the therapy may, however, prevent long-term use and fibroids resume growth when therapy is stopped. UFE has been performed since the mid-1990s and is considered to be a safe and effective treatment for fibroids. Prior to the procedure, doctors may want to get an MRI to accurately assess size, location, and number of fibroids. All fibroids require blood supply to grow, and UFE takes advantage of this fact. By blocking the blood supply to these fibroids, they start to shrink while simultaneously avoiding permanent damage to the uterus. Before the procedure, you will receive medication to help you relax and reduce pain, but you will be awake during the procedure. A small nick is made in the groin or wrist artery and a soft, flexible catheter is inserted, guided into the uterine artery. Once the catheter is navigated to the artery that supplies the fibroids, tiny particles are released into the artery, ultimately blocking it. The procedure is repeated on both sides of the uterus in the same setting. After the procedure, you will likely be asked to lie flat for a few hours. Pain is the primary side effect of UFE procedure, and the pain is worse in the first 24 hours after the procedure you will be given medications to control the pain. After the procedure, you may experience low-grade fever, pain, fatigue, nausea, or vomiting. These symptoms usually peak in 48 hours after the procedure and resolve on their own in about a week. Most women can return to light activity within a few days of the procedure and are usually back to work and resume normal activity on average within about 11 days. Take back control of your life and discuss UFE options with your doctor. If you have any questions, please write them down and ask your doctor.